and it's not as bad. But the main important thing, guys, is we have three equations, right? We don't know what this graph looks like, but for visual purposes, let's just pretend we know what this graph looks like. So at one and at two, those are kind of like our breaking points. So I'm just gonna say there's, um, you know, here a graph looks like this, then a graph looks like that. That's open, and that's open, and then a graph looks like this. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to connect these three graphs so the graph is continuous. That's like what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the values that are gonna make these connections. So basically there's two values that we wanna have connected at x equals one and at x equals two. You guys see that? So for them to be connected, we know that the left and the right hand limits need to be the same. So we'd say that the limit as x approaches one from the left of f of x has to equal the limit as x approaches one from the right of f of x. So we basically want to make sure these are the same from the left and right hand because right now they're not the same, right? So to make them the same, we're just going to do, so x plus one has to equal ax plus b. Now you evaluate in the limit, so therefore you're going to plug in one plus one equals a times one plus b. So your first equation is two equals a plus b. For this next equation, for the next thing, we want to make sure the left and right hand limit at two is going to be the same. So again, I'll just write the limit as x approaches two from the left of f of x equals the limit as x approaches two from the right of f of x. So the left hand limit is ax plus b. And the right hand limit is going to be what represents 3x. Then I plug in my new value that I'm trying to make them connect at, which is two. So it's going to be a times two plus b equals three times two which is 2a plus b equals 6. So there's one equation. There's my other equation. Now that I have these two equations, I can just use a system of equations to solve. a plus b equals 2, and 2a plus b equals 6. So I just rewrote them. You don't need to rewrite them, but that's the way I like to do it. Um, and then I'm going to use elimination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the two. So by subtracting the two equations from one another, I get negative a minus 0b equals negative 4. So it's negative a equals negative 4. Divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1, a equals 4. And then now that I know what a equals 4 is, to find out b, I just plug it into one of these other two equations. So let's plug it in here. Negative 4 plus b equals 2. Add 4, add 4 b is equal to 6. Was that the answer? Negative 4 and 6? No. no. What happened? It's negative 2. b is negative 2. But a is 4. Oh, it's positive 4. I was, I got on to like, yeah. It's positive 4, so you're subtracting 4 on both sides. b equals negative 2. Okay? And well, that's it. Um, Guys, make sure, again, quiz next class period.